What's the deal, my people? You know it is Don Tony Teflon. I'm back at you with another From Season 2 episode video. The most interesting thing I've seen in this first episode of From is Victor and Tabitha walking through the caverns of the monster. So in this video, I'm going to break down everything that you've seen in that catacombs and explain it right to you and i'm telling you wait till the end because there's a game changing moment that i don't think many people caught but i'm gonna tell you in this video and if you like the way i do that please thumbs up the video subscribe and hit that bell so you can be notified every time i drop a new video or do a live stream and you don't want to miss those it's a lot of fun with everybody in the chat so let's get right into it as victor and tabitha make their way through the cavern we can see that these monsters have maybe what it seems like trophies or things from their past life or other tropes that they keep down there for some strange reason now the first thing that we walk up on that we see of some significance is Tabitha finds a suitcase and this suitcase has a bunch of stickers on it but there's one sticker on it that I think means the most and that is the one they show on the top the New York World Fair 1964 now why is that New York World Fair important let's get right into it the World's Fair function was the way to bring culture history and new technology together in one event to many people from all different types of backgrounds. Between 1876 and 1916, almost one million people attended the International World Fair that was held in 12 US cities. So what's the significance of the one that year? In 1964, the fair is noted as a showcase of mid 20th century American culture and technology. The nascent space age the nascent space age with its vista of promise was well represented. So what does the word nascent mean? We don't hear that every day. Well, it means it means coming or having recently come into existence. So out of all the world fairs we had, this one specifically was meant to show the coming into existence of the space age. And they used that with technology that they show. Also, this fair gave many attendees their first interaction with computer equipment. Corporations demonstrated the use of mainframe computers, computer terminals with keyboards and CTR displays, teletype machines, punch cards, and telephone modem. And at this pavilion, they built two towers, which were called the observation towers. And they were supposed to represent a UFO cockpit. And in the movie, Men in Black, if you've all seen that, they actually use these structures in the movie saying that they were actual UFOs. So when we put this all together, I think it's the single most biggest clue that we are dealing with aliens or alien technology that fell into the hands of human beings. And this is all just an experiment. Next thing we see is Tabitha open the suitcase in what appears to be a nightgown inside and she seems to recognize this nightgown like it possibly could be her nightgown. Now remember, this would be the second time that we've seen her with some type of item of clothing that she recognized because first it was the bracelet, now it's the nightgown. How are they getting their hands on all of this stuff if it's tabitha's stuff then i would have to say that they used alien technology to go through a wormhole and this is an alternate universe that is how she would be able to have the exact same things if a different version of herself already had these things and already was in this town and that's why they have them if they're tabitha's if they're not tabitha's and they are the creatures down there then I would say that maybe there's some type of bonding thing that they have to have a piece of clothing to perform some type of ritual that helps keep these monsters under control. Speaking about the monsters, we then see the ventriloquist doll. And when Victor sees the ventriloquist doll, he freaks out. Now, we also seen Jade seeing the ventriloquist doll and Victor seeing this doll. 
So what's going on with this doll? I think that it could be a possibility that Victor knew somebody who used this doll. Like when Victor was young, you know, sometimes people like to perform things for children. Maybe somebody that was in the town with Victor when he was a child would perform with this ventriloquist doll and made him just like it. And now the, that's the first time he's seen this doll since something has happened to this person. Since Victor and Jade both seen this ventriloquist doll, then it has to be connected to both of them. And the only person I see connected to both of them is the guy in the photo that Victor had that keeps drawing the same exact symbols that Jade is. I think that he is the one who used to play with this ventriloquist doll to entertain Victor when he was young. After that, we're shown a bunch of different things in this caves, whether it's TV sets and tricycles and everything else down in these catacombs. Why would all that stuff be down there? Well, in the 1930s, all the way up into the 1970s, people did have cave dwellings. In fact, they used a lot of workers, people who worked on land, used to use cave dwellings to house these workers. So it's quite possible that these were not just the caves that they left the stuff in, that people actually lived there. Maybe some of these people lived there when they were getting tested on with their children, they lived in these caves. And these caves look this way because they've been messed up. Why have they been messed up? Well, I'm going to tell you that exact thing at the end of this video. After that, we see a good shot a really first good shot of these creatures and what these creatures look like and the one thing we could say about them is that they have large thick veins going throughout their body the veins are very prominent and i think that's because they're doing some type of blood transfusions with them mixing their blood with other dna maybe alien dna or something else and that is what's happening here and that's what I think is also happening to the little kids. When you see the kid down there with Tabitha, I think that's what's happening to that kid. And that's why that kid is actually caged up because that kid is being used in experiments. And you can go through my older videos, one that I put out with Jade and another one right after about Sarah. And I go into further detail in those videos. So shown a clock. And when I look at this clock, it kind of looks like the talisman. If you look at the talisman and you hold it up side by side to the clock, you can see that the talisman does resemble this clock. Now, there's some controversy on whether or not Victor was able to see this, if this kid was really there or if this kid was in Tabitha's head. So let's go through this shot by shot and see exactly what's going on and see if Victor's seen this kid also. Victor and Tab head through the cave. Tab has the flashlight. She signs it at the mount. We then see Victor and Tab looking at the same thing. She looks to the side. She's still looking at what she's looking at. The ball comes out and knocks it over and then she follows it and Victor follows it too. So from that scene, it seems that Victor did see that ball that went down that shot. After that, Tabitha then continues on her own. Victor goes to the left and Tabitha goes straight ahead. Victor is in pain. He's all worried, looking at the creatures and everything else. Tabitha is off by herself at this time. She goes over to the cage. She stares into the cage and then that's when the girl comes out. She jumps back and falls back. Victor did not see that girl because he wasn't there. It wasn't be impossible for him to see it. And I also don't think that that is in the real time. I think that girl is in her head. But I do believe that that ball, that rock was not. That was in reality. But the girl itself that's inside that cage was not really in that cage. Meaning just like the people who communicate with Sarah, these children have the ability to affect what's going on in real time without actually being there. So I told you at the beginning of the video, there was something that happened in this cave that I think a lot of people might have missed, but it is truly the biggest thing that we've seen in episode one and could be the end game for this whole season going on. And that is this shot right here. Let me play it for you. It's real. 
we've done this. We have to go. Hey, where's the water coming from? You're waking up. That is correct. You hear Tabitha say specifically, where is this water coming from? So that's what I'm going to explain right now. It seems like the water is coming from beneath them, right under the town, right under these monsters. And I think what's going to happen is that this is being controlled by someone, the water, and they're going to use this water, raise the water level and flood out the whole town. We've seen pictures of Victor that he drew of a flood and body parts floating around. And I think that's exactly what's gonna happen. I think it's already happened. That's why everything is ruined down there and all messed up because I think that that's what they do when people are about to discover what's going on. The people in control, they flood out the whole town and kill everybody wipe out everybody and then bring in more people for more experiments and start all over again i think they've been doing this for as long as the they've been getting away with it forever but that's what i think is going on in this cave but you tell me what you think if i miss something please put it in the comment section and i'm so happy to announce that this sunday make sure you catch us for the after show escaping from we will have your favorite monster and my favorite monster, Jasmine, on the show with us, rocking with us. So definitely come by and check that out, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. And if you like the way I do this, please thumbs up this, spread this across the realm, and as always, subscribe. And until next time, you know who it is. Peace and stay sexy.